Question number three says that Radha made a picture of an aeroplane with colored paper as shown in figure 12.15. This is the given figure. We have to find the total area of the paper used. So as we can see in this given figure, there are different regions marked region 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 which are of different shapes. We will have to find their area separately so that we can add them later to get the area of the aeroplane. We will start by finding the area of region 1 which is triangular in shape with side lengths 5 cm, 5 cm and 1 cm. To find its area we make use of Heron's formula. We are using Heron's formula because the height for the triangular region is not given. So the area A equals under root S times S minus A times S minus B times S minus C where S is the semi-perimeter and A, B, C are the three side lengths of a given triangle. So we will have to find the semi-perimeter for the triangular region which can be found by adding up its three side lengths and dividing it by 2. So let's add 5 plus 5 plus 1 and let's divide it by 2. So on further calculation we get the semi-perimeter to be equal to 11 by 2 centimeters which is 5.5 centimeters. Now we can find the area of region 1 by substituting these values back into the Heron's formula. So we get under root 5.5 times 5.5 minus 5 times 5.5 minus 5 times 5.5 minus 1 centimeter square. So this and further calculation gives us under root 5.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 4.5 centimeter square which comes as 0 0.75 times root 11 centimeter square. So now let's substitute the value of 0 0.75 times root 11 which comes as 0 0.75 times 3.317 because that is the value of root 11. On multiplication we get the product as 2.4 8, 8 centimeter square which is the area of region 1. Now we will be finding the area of region 2 as highlighted in the figure which is a rectangular region. So the area of region 2 can be found by making use of the formula which is used to find the area of a rectangle that is length into breadth. So we substitute the values 6.5 times 1 which gives the area of region 2 to be equal to 6.5 centimeter square. Now we will be finding the areas of region 4 and region 5 as again highlighted in the figure and as we can see these two triangles are right angled triangles which are of equal area. We write area of region 4 equals half into base into height. So let's substitute these values. We write 1 by 2 times 1.5 times 6 which gives the area of region 4 to be equal to 4.5 centimeter square. Now as seen in the figure the area of region 4 and region 5 is equal. We write area of region 4 plus area of region 5 to be equal to 2 times the area of region 4 which we had found out as 4.5. So we get the area of these two triangles put together to be equal to 9 centimeter square. Now our last step is to find the area of region 3 which is an isosceles trapezium. So let's start doing that. We have taken the isosceles trapezium separately and named it as ABCD. We have dropped two perpendiculars AE 
and BF onto the base DC. So the length of EF becomes 1 cm and the lengths of DE and FC become 0.5 cm each. Now in order to find the area of this trapezium we will have to find its height that can be found by applying Pythagoras theorem to triangle ADE. So on application we get the equation h square plus 0 0.5 whole square equals 1 square. So that gives us h square equals 1 square minus 0 0.5 the whole square which is 0 0.25 that equals 0 0.75. So we can write height h equals under root 0 0.75 which on calculation can be written as root 3 by 2 centimeters. Now that we have found out the height we can find the area of this trapezium. The formula to find the area of a trapezium here the region 3 equals 1 by 2 times its height times the sum of its two parallel sides which as can seen in the figure is AB plus DC. So let's start substituting the values. We substitute 1 by 2 times root 3 by 2 times 1 centimeters plus 2 centimeters which is 3 centimeters. So we get the area of region 3 to be equal to 3 root 3 by 4 centimeter square. So that on further calculation that is by substituting the value of root 3 as 1.732 we get the area of region 3 to be equal to 1.3 centimeter square. Now that we have found out the region thirds area let's add all the regions area to get the area of the aeroplane. Now the total area of the aeroplane can be found by adding up the areas of different regions. So we start adding from region 1 which is 2.488 plus the region seconds area, second regions area which is 6.5 plus third regions area which is 1.3 plus the area of region 4 and 5 put together which is 9 centimeter square. So on adding we get the total area of the aeroplane to be equal to 19.3 centimeter square. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.